Hi! In this video, we're going to look at parallel and perpendicular slopes. Now, we know from prior knowledge that when two things are parallel, that means that every point is... So first, we're going to look at parallel slopes. Okay, so these two lines here that I've drawn, the pink and the blue one, they have parallel slopes. Um, so to verify that, we actually need to show what the slopes are. And we could either look at the graph and we can see that the rise over the run is going to be the same for that pink line and this blue line. The rise and the run are going to be the same. So we could either look at it and figure it out or we can verify it mathematically by finding the slopes. So let's first find the slope of the pink line and let's note that it is going to be uh, negative 1 minus 0 over 1 minus negative 1. <clears throat> okay, so now that gives us a slope of negative 1 over 2. Okay, so we've got negative 1 half slope, so that means the rise is uh, negative one, so really that means that it goes down one unit, and then for every one unit I go down, I go over two units. Okay, and let's figure out the slope of the blue line. So we have uh, zero minus one divided by two minus zero, and that gives us a slope of negative 1 over 2. Ah, negative 1 half. Okay, so we can very nicely see that the slope of my pink line is one half, negative 1 half, and that is equal to the slope of my, oh, I should change colors there, make that blue, 1 half. Okay, so my conclusion is the slopes of the two lines are equal Therefore, they are parallel. All right. Okay. So, now for perpendicular lines, now as you know already, Perpendicular lines are lines that meet at a 90 degree angle, okay? So, all right, so if we look at a picture of one. Okay, so here we have two lines and they are supposed to be perpendicular. So we need to verify whether or not uh, the lines meet right here at a 90 degree angle. Now it doesn't really look like it is on my diagram because it's not to scale, but what we want to do is we want to prove that they're perpendicular by noting that they are negative reciprocals of each other. So we want to, so a negative reciprocal a negative reciprocal uh, means basically, uh, for example, uh, let's say we have two fractions. Um, so let's say one half. The negative reciprocal of that is going to be negative two over one. Okay, so they're not equal. You basically take the fraction, flip it, and put a negative sign in front of it, and there you have a negative reciprocal. Another interesting fact about negative reciprocals is if you take the two numbers and multiply them together, you end up with a result of negative one. So that's another way that you can show it. Okay, so let's actually take the slopes of these two lines here and see whether or not they are perpendicular to each other. Okay, so let's first, first, sorry, first figure out the slope of the pink line. So the slope of the pink line is line one, so 
uh, the slope of the line 1 is going to be uh, 3 minus 0. Okay, I need to go back and just fix this point here. I put in a 1 and this should be a 0. Okay, and then we've got 1 minus negative 1. Okay, so that gives me a slope of 3 over 2. And let's figure out the slope of the blue line. Okay, and it is going to be 1 minus 3. So they just so happen to actually share this point. So I'm using this point here and this point to figure out that uh, slope. So we've got 1 minus 3 divided by 4 minus 1, and I get negative. 2 over 3. Okay, so you notice here we've got one that's positive 3 over 2 and this slope is negative 3 over 2. Ah, exciting. So they're negative reciprocals e of each other. So we could actually say they are perpendicular. Are perpendicular. Which means that they meet at a 90 degree angle. Uh, let's uh, verify that just for fun, the way that I showed above. So 3 over 2, and let's multiply that with negative 2 over 3, and that does just so happen to equal negative 1. Very exciting. Hope you enjoyed that.